Well, a city-owned grocery store to help promote food equity on Chicago's south and west sides. It's an idea Mayor Brandon Johnson's office is currently exploring. And that's despite a half a billion dollar city budget shortfall. CBS 2's Mugo Adigwe is live outside City Hall. And Mugo, people shouldn't expect that grocery store's doors to open anytime soon. Exactly, and that's because this is really just an idea right now. One that's already being done in some small cities, but there's currently no timeline on what it could happen here in Chicago. What is clear, though, is that there is certainly a need out there. Many neighborhoods on the south and west sides just don't have quality grocery stores. In fact, several buildings are still boarded up after private chains moved out. One example is this former Aldi at 76 in Ashland in Auburn Gresham. It closed more than a year ago, which brings us to Mayor Brandon Johnson's proposal. Under that plan, the city would use economic development grants and team up with an organization to open a city owned grocery store in one of Chicago's food deserts. We are not spending any taxpayer dollars, right? Um, what we're also going to be able to access is the funding that exists at the national level, at the state level. And so it's not necessarily about profitability. It really is about what is the impact on Chicagoans. But again, there is currently no timeline on when or if this plan will actually happen. We know City Council is meeting later this morning, but right now this plan is not on the agenda. But of course, we will keep you updated as we learn more. We're live outside City Hall. We'll go with CBS 2 News.